Hey everybody, it's Brian and welcome back to Be Mad Photo. Today I want to take a look at the Ricoh GR3X and the Ricoh GR3's JPEG processing power. Specifically in the Ricoh GR series, you get seven color profiles and four black and white profiles right out of this camera. So what I did is I shot a couple photos, specifically in RAW, and then I used the in-processing power of this camera to edit the RAWs in the camera and apply each of the profiles. Standard, vivid, positive film, bleach bypass, retro, HDR, and cross-process. Additionally, uh, the four black and white profiles, monotone, soft mono, hard mono, and the high contrast black and white. So with each image that I'm going to show you in a second, I have all seven color and all four black and white processes against the same image. So here's the process I use. First we need a picture of our happy cat here, and once we got that we'll go into playback mode and then we're going to hit the button on the left side of the camera. And the first option you might see, or you need to scroll down to it, is the raw. Right click on the wheel, and then scroll down to the JPEG setting. The first one is standard because we were in standard. Clicking it, it will show processing, and then continue. When the processing is done, the image is written, and then continue allows you to keep selecting new options. So now that we're done, we've clicked finish, and now as you can see, I can just review all the different pictures that are now in the camera, and you can see there is a JPEG for each of the selections that we did. We can now compare those. By seeing them all applied against the same image, again, it just helps kind of make that assessment of what you find the most pleasing. So by looking at these color profiles and black and white profiles, I think we'll uh, really be able to do a comparison and see that there's a lot more than just the positive film and the high contrast black and white. So let's check it out. This first picture here is of the Carolan in downtown Naperville. we can see that there's also the black and white processes. I really like the hard mono and its effect on the clouds. It's almost like an HDR for black and white. This is a mushroom that I saw on the side of a tree in downtown Naperville. I like the bleach bypass and the retro looks of this mushroom inside the knot of the tree. And the HDR effect is really interesting. leave a comment. I would like to know what your favorites are. I'm still leaning towards being a big fan of the hard monotone, high contrast black and white in certain scenarios. And out of the color, I pretty much always leave it on positive film. Right there we just saw the HDR processing when people are involved and it turns people into zombie looking creatures when it's straight out of this camera. So I really avoid the HDR effect when there is any human subjects in the photo. I really like the positive film effect on this bridge. The HDR is really interesting when there's wood involved, but again, you gotta watch out for when there are human subjects in your photos. This photo here with the water, I really like the way the vivid was. And the HDR is interesting, it almost takes on a painterly effect in this photo. I really like the hard monotone on this one. The high contrast black and white, I'm not sure. The bleach bypass has really interesting effects, especially when you're dealing with nature, a lot of green, and also I've found in the fall and in the winter time it really gives a nice effect and accentuates snow or water. By going through this exercise here I really have gained an appreciation for the various JPEG options that come right out of this camera.
I can go out and shoot thousands of photos, and I am happy with not doing too much raw processing. I really like the color output of that positive film effect. Out of the black and whites, I like the hard mono, and the high contrast black and white, I think, works really well again in this bridge picture. Just because there is an area of uh, dark and light that contrasts very well, and it gives a really cool look to the photo. So again, thank you, and see you next time. This is Be Mad Photo, out.